Hello and welcome. Hello, I'm Olivia, your virtual nurse. It sounds like you're asking about diabetes. Hello and welcome to the second episode of my CDA series, series where I talk about cool diabetes apps. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Ask NHS app. Now, even though this app has been made by the National Health Service in the UK, as far as I'm concerned, this app should be available globally. If it's not, I do apologise, but I've been researching and there are very similar apps in loads of countries. Um, US, uh, Australia, etc. Uh, in this video, obviously, I'm going to focus on Ask NHS. So, the Ask NHS app was created by the National Health Service for two main reasons. First of all, to you know show you what the future of healthcare is likely to look like. You know, fully digital with digital nurses. Uh, you know, artificial intelligence things like that and second of all to sort of maybe release a bit of pressure on the nurses or physical nurses like humans on the NHS although at this moment in time I don't personally believe this app is doing either one of those things um, so you can do things like symptom so the, what, the main feature of this app is a symptom checker so the idea is that you you know talk to your digital nurse you say to her this is happening this is you know um i'm having those symptoms would you be able to help me and then she gives you advice on you know what you should do whatever you should speak to your medical team or if you need to call 911 now she always says that if you believe this is a medical emergency don't speak to me call 999 immediately so that's something you should know and the idea is brilliant and i loved it now i've downloaded this app about three months ago when i was doing a prep for this series see i actually planned those things and um when i downloaded it initially you could actually speak to her so you could say things like um olivia i believe my blood glucose level is very very low and then she would recognize what you've just said like siri and then she would talk back to you they've recently updated their app i don't know why and now you need to type so when she says to you you know hello i'm olivia like hello and welcome to the symptom checker my name is olivia hi olivia so when i downloaded it you could actually say hello olivia i believe my blue glucose is Would low you tell me your main symptom? okay i'm not going to tell you my symptoms you. Uh, but now you need to type which is a bit upsetting. In terms of the main functionality of the symptom checker, I have tried to give her some of my diabetes symptoms to see if she can identify that, oh, you might be a type 1 diabetic, you know, before you are diagnosed and she, she had no idea what I was talking about. Actual useful things that this app is able to do is book your appointments so you can actually type in your postcode, you know, where you live and Olivia is capable of uh, booking you an appointment. Hello, I'm Olivia, your virtual nurse. Oh, thank you, Olivia. So you can book things like your um, things like your GP appointments and you can book things like your dentist appointments, which I think is nice. If you move into a new area, you could use Olivia to help you out. Um, although you could just call and speak to normal humans, but I guess whatever's best for you. The app is cool. It has the cool coolness of it. It's not useful at the moment, but I think it has an incredible potential. And um, I strongly believe that in about 15 years, she will be just, Olivia will be just as intelligent as one of the diabetes specialist nurses that I speak to, you know, on a daily basis. So, and that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it. I'm very looking forward to the updates because um, it really, the app needs some serious, you know, adjustments and, you know, to make it really 21st century app. So that's from me. Now, this is the first episode where I'm actually introducing you to a new, um, item of the series and I've decided to bring some friends of mine and so I'm gonna invite I'm inviting loads of different incredible people to join me in reviewing those cool diabetes apps and today is the first episode so uh, let the mystery app reviewer introduce themselves 
Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm Type One Cat here on YouTube, Type One Cat on Instagram, and Type One Catherine on Twitter. I also have a shop which has t shirts like I support diabetic research, the insulin heart, which from far away just looks like a pretty heart, but close up has things like insulin pumps, test strips, and glucose monitors. And the pyjama top, which is night night sleep tight, I hope you BG don't spike. And other great things that I just don't have samples of yet. Uh, first off, let's give you a quick lowdown on the app. So I've got this person and she's called Olivia. She just kind of stares and blinks at you. And she moves the mouth as she talks. Uh, the symptom checker, I find it's a it's an interesting gimmick. Um, I find it... I used it to try and see if she could work out that I was diabetic or that I was going low or what a headache might mean and I found it very difficult for her to grasp what I was trying to convey to her. Um, she tried, seemed to try and go on and weird tangents. It's a bit like the, um, is it that ball that's like guess 20 questions and you go try and guess, the ball go try and guess what animal or object you are, it's a bit like that and I just find it a bit difficult to kind of um, to try and grasp what I'm on about. Like I did what about just to see if she could tell that I had a stress headache and she started going on about rashes and stuff. So I find it a little bit off tangent. Uh, service finder, I put, yes, for my postcode, I put that in and it didn't do anything. It just kind of came up with a blank screen. So it was a bit concerning. Um, so, basically you can grasp i don't really like the app i find it a much more of a gimmick than actually something that i would find useful for myself um but something that i do appreciate about the app is the fact that NH the nhs uh, which if you don't know it's the national health service in england it's the free healthcare that we have uh, which i'm very really grateful for and i like the fact that they are forward thinking and thinking about the future and where they're going to go with it and the fact that they made an app to try and help people i very much appreciate that uh, but like i said i don't think it's really working um so yeah they're my two what i like and what i don't like about the ask nhs app oh and it's also free which is nice thank you so much cat for taking part in the video i uh, i'm gonna put all of her links down below you should definitely check her out and um she has an incredible youtube channel so check it out and so as you can see uh, myself and Kat as well, we both don't really like the app right now but we strongly believe that there is a huge potential and uh, hopefully in about 10-15 years she will be you know just as good as the normal human beings. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to answer the moral question of would you like to have a computer taking medical decisions on your behalf because my iPhone's already making my insulin decisions on my behalf, so you, I think you you sort of know where my moral point of view is. If you don't, I'm all for it. Uh, and I believe that technology is is the way forward. You know, this this is what this channel is all about. Um, so that's that. Now I'm really interested in your opinion. Would you use it? Would you use it now? Would you use it in 15 years? Would you ever use it? And what is your opinion of the healthcare going into the digital world? And would you trust Olivia? Let me know in the comments. So, thanks guys. See ya.